I'm going to go ahead and start right now. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for being here. I'm going to use the extra three minutes that I can. Let's, we got three orders of business today. I will actually list them out to you as not to keep you in the dark. We need to talk about the current state of events and write this down in the chat for me, current state of events and how to help and how to benefit in the short term and how to benefit in the long term. How to benefit in the short term, how to benefit in the long term. Because when you help, you should benefit. You don't have to expect it, but you still should benefit. That's what good energy does. It comes back. Well, that's two things, really. How can we help? The current state of events, how can we help? short term and long term and I'll tell you what's going on. And then the second order of business that we're going to do is the top apps in the world. And I will discuss what we're going to talk about there. So that's basically what we're going to talk about. Current state of events. How can we benefit in the short term? How can we benefit in the long term? How can well, how can we help should be first. How can we we're not going to benefit if we don't help. We'll recopy and paste that and put the help at, at the top for me. Then I'm gonna follow that in the chat. How can we help? In fact, that's actually a good point. If you don't help, you don't get the benefit. That's kind of the way that works. Wealth must be manufactured, but money must be made by helping. If you don't help, you can't make money. If you don't have money, then you can't leverage or manufacture wealth. That's just one of those things that it's not going to change anytime soon. It's universal. Well, the serving money part is universal. The manufacturing and leveraging and manipulating wealth, that's just capitalism. That's not universal. And so we got a current state of events, how to benefit. No, hold on, I'll do it. I, I put how can we help first, and it did it <laughs> under the. Oh, it did it separate. <laughs> uh, yeah. It did it separate. Okay, no. All right, so no, you, you, you did though. It was, it was current state of events, and then how can we help in there? I see what you did. Anyway, we'll go. Just copy and paste it. Put current state of events. How can we help? And then the rest. Put it in line after then, you know what I'm saying? And then paste it all as one. That's what we're going to talk about. And that's how your business should be. Your business should be thinking the same thing. I'm going to share my screen. Well, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for her to post this in the chat. So let's talk about a few things. You need to be, your business needs to be absolutely relative but how do you become relative? You become a resource. The New England Patriots, you've probably never heard of the five-time Super Bowl winning New England Patriots. Tom Brady, you know, maybe you never heard of this very valuable franchise. Yesterday, they took their plane, went to a few continents, and brought back I think 1.2 million masks for their area. Is that the role of a football team? No. Will that be good? Well, does it help? Yes, it helps. It actually helps humanity. And it, will it work for your brand if you're helping humanity today? Will it help you for tomorrow? Somebody put in my private chat. They still cheat, though. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you got to understand American football to get that one. Deflate gate. You understand? I want you to know this. However you treat people or whatever blueprint or footprint you put out there, it's going to benefit or hurt your business in a monetary way. There are going to be a lot of businesses that's going to be killed and a lot that's going to become the next Amazons. You New England Patriots did that. Everybody understand it? Everybody understand it? I don't want to talk about the coronavirus today. I want to talk about the side effect of the coronavirus. And I want you to, I just need you to receive something that shouldn't be that hard to receive. It just shouldn't be, but we'll see how that works. So 
So let's start with NPR. Down on mute, you might can tell me what today's date is according to the world. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. And what time is it in Southeast Texas? 8.02 a.m. Outstanding. And on today, yes, 45 minutes ago, oh, wow. 6.6 6 million people filed for unemployment 45 minutes ago. That's in America. If that is happening in the number one economy in the world, and we're not talking about dollar value, we're talking about economy, then that's happening around the world. We want to pay attention. If this is happening in the number one economy, China's the number two economy, this has ramifications that I won't even be able to cover in this class. This just happened. I had you read the time, Deanna. I converted it for you. This is 45 minutes ago. The coronavirus, the side effect is 6.6 .6 million people. And the greatest recession that happened of all time, the greatest recession that happened of all time, Anything more powerful, more disruptive than the greatest recession was actually the Great Depression. Ladies and gentlemen, I will have to look up the Great Depression numbers. I remember unemployment being somewhere around 27, 28%. I don't know what that would have been for minorities and African Americans. I'll have to look that up. But I can assure you, Sandals, do me a favor. Hey, share your calculator for me. Share, share your calculator on the screen. And stop sharing mine. You share your calculator. Remember, when I here's our agenda. This is if you're just joining us. I forget I started the call like this for the people who are just joining us on audio or now. This is my regular daily meeting. This is not a market employee. This is just what we do. This is how we build this company. This is how we stay in front of everybody. This is how we not affect it. It's how we ever give discounts and all sorts of stuff. This is why we are striving when so many others are not. We do these, and I just open this up to the public to help out as many people as possible. Our meeting agenda, Grace, our meeting agenda, Do that. read that for me. Unmute your mic and read to us our meeting agenda for today. It's the first time I actually laid it out so people can, can follow. So current events, the state of current events, how we are going to help. I got it. I got to memorize. Okay. The state of current events. Well, I got it written down too over here. No, you, you got to keep your mic unmuted because you're fit to talk. The okay. state of current events, the how can we help, and then how we're going to benefit the short term and long term because if you're going to help, you should benefit. That's going to be one of the problems that your CEOs are going to have. You don't, you don't know how to benefit from kindness. And then top apps in the world. Top apps in the world. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Grace wants you to take 323 million. But Grace is currently putting six zeros after 323. Now, that is 323 million. Correct, Grace? Yes. If I go to Mars, it's the same number. Same number. Outstanding, outstanding. 323 million. That's, that's approximately how many million Americans are in America, right there. These 323 million Americans, somehow, some way, there's 7.79 billion people left on planet Earth, and somehow these 323 million Americans are the number one economy in the world. Number one. China would be number two, 1.8 billion people, because everyone tends to want to trade with America, however that been manufactured. We'll leave that conversation out of it. Grace, if there's a man, there's also a woman, yes? Yes. Outstanding. And we can say half of those are men, half of those are women. Is that fair? Fair. 
Outstanding. What I want you to do is I want you to divide that by two. Not for women. We're just going to say nicely, all these people have jobs. That's what we're going to say. That's what we're going to say. We're going to say half of America is too young to have a job. I'm being very nice here, but that's not true. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, assuming with my very nice numbers, what I want you to do now, Grace, is I want you to divide this. We'll write this number down before we forget it. That's 161,500,000. Mm-hmm. I want you to divide that by 6.6 6 million. Hold on. Yeah, yeah there we go. They, they need That's to put comment right in this case. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hit equal in this seat. What does this number say? Right now, I may have did that wrong, Grace. Let's take it the opposite way. Let's take 6.6 million divided by the other number, whatever it was, 161,500,000, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that number is. All right, so being extremely nice, uh, you can stop your screen. Being extremely nice, I have just made unemployment 4% in America. That's what I just did. Everybody following that? Mm -hmm. Just took half the people in America, and I made unemployment 4%. Wasn't unemployment already 4%? Yes. The answer is yes. Unemployment was already 4%. Do you understand? When everything was sweet, according to everybody, unemployment was already 4%. And the president, not good or bad, was saying, look what I did. And the previous president was saying, look what I did. Is that fair? We gave out almost $900 billion in stimulus package when the unemployment went down to five, I mean, went up to 6%. I just made up these numbers, and those numbers were so kind, it said half of America is working. Okay? And then half of America is working. And now with 6.6 .6 million people, we're down to 4%. Now I want all of you to think about this for a second. Do you even got half your family working? Because if half your family ain't working, then half of America ain't working. And the answer is no. Now, it doesn't count anything. Unemployment, I don't know where it's at. Damn sure ain't at 4%. That was 6.6 .6 million people losing their job in 14 days. Now, Grace, coming to you first. With your, uh, mute your mic. Grace first, Deanna second, Reggie third. With your gifts, your talents, and your role in this company, your ideas, how can we help? Same question to everybody. Your gifts, okay. your talents, your role in this company, how can we help? Well, we you've already been helping over. Um, okay, my, my, my fault. My fault. Let me let me frame y'all thinking. I didn't do anything. You can't agree with me. Anything we've done, trash. Give me more. It'd be something that we're not doing. Deanna, if you're ready, you can go. Seeing what people's gifts are and seeing how they can be used within the company. All right. So being, well, we can't hire 323 million men. Well, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're yeah. going gonna, gonna to forget that last part. We're going to forget okay. that last part. Okay. <laughs> we can't do that. That, right. that, is, uh, that. We would be the government if we do that. We would yeah. be the government. Okay. So actually, we would be better than the government. Okay. Actually, I'm not even sure we'd be better. That's 100%. That's 0% unemployment. Everybody would get paid 
which means everybody would become lazy, according to the what most statistics would say. You don't, okay. you don't ever want unemployment at zero percent because then now I can't fire someone and go get someone better because what you gonna do? You gonna fire me? You can't. Zero okay. percent. I, I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I got no, no, no. I got another Keep one. your other one, but the first part of it was good. Give okay. some talent. Find out everybody gives some talent. Okay. Diana, write hold. this down in chat. Oh, hold on, hold on. The, write okay. it down in chat, Diana, or write it down in your notes because you got to submit this to me after the meeting. Maybe we should help everyone else find their gifts and talents. You know, find some tools so they can better adjust in what's going on, or maybe they can start some businesses on their own. So we can start there. All right, keep going, Grace. Okay, that was your segue into what I was going to say. You know, poll the audience. Ask, you know, those of you who have filed for unemployment, who have lost their jobs, what is it that you were doing if you love to do it? Or, you know, what is it that you would like to do or love to do? And then you get those answers. And then, you know, every day, pick an industry and just go, you know, go live or shoot a video and premiere it on um, how they can go about, like you were saying, how they can go about starting their own businesses uh, or, or earning income from what it is that they were doing or that they they desire to do for themselves. All right, I'm going to translate that into Deanna. Write down once a day we need to make a poll on my page to learn our audience. I want to make the polls intriguing. Poll the questions, two options, and see what people are thinking. The more we see what they're thinking, the more we see how their pain is screaming out, is the more we'll be able to adjust our products around that pain. That makes sense? I'm going to give you, let's see real quick. I'll give you an example of how to do that here in one second. I'm going to share my screen. I'll give you an example, because Grace, you heard what I said, but you don't know what I'm talking about, right? Right. Kind of sort of. All right. I saw your face. You can see my screen, right? Yes. And my Facebook page. Yes. All right. I'll stand. Come to your Facebook. You can only do this on a fan page, y'all, or a business page. Come to your page, and then when you go to your page, you can hit this button here, this menu button. I'll do it again. This in three dots typically means menu menu button you come all the way down and then let's see tarot product science sponsor let's see if we can find some other options somewhere on here all right they moved it on me so this is good practice let me refresh my page and make sure it's not messing up this is good practice i get to teach y'all something because now i gotta go find it for myself because facebook keeps updating without telling me they update me what we're looking for, let's see, tag, tag, prana, nonprofit, check, ceiling. All right, whenever Facebook moves something, this is what I go do. It's super simple. This is exactly, let me see if it's over here. This is, a, I'm sharing Google Chrome, right? Is this, can you see this blank page now? Yes. Yep. All right, how to use polling feature on Facebook. They moved it on me. So now I'm going to find out where the heck they put it at. How do I create a poll in the group, poll on the page? Give it to me. News feed, write a post. I just did that. Write a post. Oh, I guess I got to write the post first. Let me see. Let's try. If you are someone, don't ever like, message me on my personal page. I don't use it. it just, just want to throw it out there. You're just not going to get a response. All right, here we go. Let's try this now. No polling feature down there. And boom. Um, what has hurt me the most during most in the last two weeks. Spending 
so ah, spending so much money or losing your job. Now, if this doesn't work, <clears throat> sandals, I'm going to research to you. So this is what I want you to do. I had to find this public feature. It used to be right here. It might still be there for y'all pages. Post scheduling. Either way, you're going to find a post with public feature. As soon as I find it, I'll send it to y'all. It should be right here, but we'll find it. Let's see. Create post. Anywho, so we'll find it. What I want you to do is we're going to poll every day. Sandals, I posted this in chat. I need that poll up right after the call. All right? on my page, just find me the instructions. And that's, it's easy. Once we find out how they update it, just remember that and you just keep doing that, polls will work. So that's what we do. We translate what you said into polls. And then we're gonna make a poll every day, polls like that, that's a real poll. Is it spending so much money or is it losing your job? All right, is it losing your job? Now, when you go, when they answer, you're gonna see if it's 50-50, we probably need to address both. If it's spending money, we need to address that. You understand? Because if it's spending money, then we need to tailor some live videos for we're teaching to how to spend how to spend less money with more impact. Or how to make money when you spend money. Or since you have to spend so much money during this time, how to create cash flow that lets other people buy what you need to spend. Is everyone following what I'm saying? Holding your audience would then tell you how to deliver your products. This is for every single person. You do not have to have an online business like me. You do not have to have anything. Your doggone business needs to be tailored to the attention that's happening right now, whether you like it or not. If you sew socks, then you need to now tell people that 25% or 25 cents of every sock is going to COVID-19 relief. Do you understand? If you are a farmer, then you now need to say that one-tenth of all your crop will be donated to lesser whatever. Anyone needs relief. Lisa Jones put the type thing polls are in groups only now because I don't see the business page and the person page. It's possible. We'll see. Definitely. I know they're in groups. But Facebook need to quit updating without telling me. Facebook, if you listen, every time you update, tell me. I teach too many people. Run it by me first, and I'll tell you when you can do it. After I teach ATS, then you can go ahead and update. Any more, Grace? No, that's all I have. All right. Outstanding. Same question to you, Dion. 6.6 6 million people lost their job. You don't, don't say anything that we already don't. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something that we're not doing. All right. Now, of course, if you're wondering, I didn't already wrote down a few ideas. If, if you're a CEO like myself and you have a team like myself, you don't tell your team what you wrote down or what you have. Taste to teach, you don't tell them what you have because what you will do is frame their thinking and you won't get ideas. When you're the boss, suggestions are not suggestions, they're orders. Even if you think they're suggestions, they're orders. Right? The moment I say, you know, I think this, I think we should move this table. I'm just talking. I'm going to walk off into the kitchen. Reggie would have told them, move the table real quick. I don't know. Right? Something. So he would have just did it with his left arm because he's so big. You know what I'm saying? It's just that fast. Suggestion. So I'm not telling the ideas. I'll sum it up here in the end. Deanna, let's hear it. Gifts, talents, your role in this company, whatever you have. How can we help 6.6 6 million people who have just lost their job in 14 days? First, make the daily calls a podcast. I know you upload them on Facebook and YouTube, but also to pull the audio and make it a podcast for those who are not on social media or really don't spend a lot of time on social media. Um, one of the things that I came up with is for every person who signs up um, free for the 
um, for the business university do a 30 minute coaching session when they sign up to create a strategy for them to help them get going. Um, something. Activate your mastermind. Repeat that last thing you said for me, coaching strategy or something. Uh, for everyone who signs up, do a uh, free 30 minute coaching session when they sign up for free for the business university um, to help create a strategy for them on how to, so when they're actually using the university, they know what to focus on and how to, so how to. Nah, that's good. That's a good idea. Write it out. That's a good okay. idea. That's a good. In fact, Grace, you write that down so she can stay creative. That was a good idea. 30 minute initial okay. coaching session to, to tailor what they're about to learn towards their business. Hey, you want to do this? Take these classes first, then do this, do that. That's what she's talking about. Keep going now. He says 6.6 .6 million people. 6.6 .6 million people. That's Sorry. that is it's Los Angeles just lost their job. You should do a um I lost my job what to do next type of thing, not a, a That's good. You you have a lot of emotional what's the word I'm looking for? You say it's not emotional intelligence, so you would know mm. how to how to phrase it better than what I just said. But no, um, that was actually perfectly phrased. I lost my job. What do I do next? Right, but because what a lot to of do next. exactly because when someone loses a job, they they're not thinking about oh. So in in reading Pinks and Valleys, they're not thinking about how them not having a job could be beneficial to them they're focused on the fact that okay i have a family to take care of i have to do this i have no to doubt. do that you know so no doubt. i just lost my job so what what do i do next no doubt good stuff anymore that's it for now all right i want pretty much everything you said is golden Right, copy and paste that down with Grace. Submit that to me before noon today, the whole meeting notes. Just noon today so I can create a plan and stuff. I lost my job, what to do next? That needs to be some sort of free series. I'm not sure what to. Actually, you know what? Let's let me let's pause real quick. Since we have a listening audience that's not part of the company who are actually customers. What would you like in I lost my job, what to do next? Yeah, let me poll the actual audience that's here. What would you like? Anyone want to volunteer? I lost my job, what to do next? What would you like to hear? And maybe you didn't lose your job, but you know someone who did. Okay, are you hiring? Number one, it's what Lisa said. Facts. That's exactly what people call it. <laughs> are you hiring? Facts. We are recruiting, Michelle Black said. I'm not sure if she's recruiting. If, very, if Michelle Black is recruiting, all you have to email her right now and flood her email system and break the internet. She might be recruiting. And also, let's address that too. Put that down. Who else? Who else want to put in chat or say out loud? You're more than welcome to talk at any time. Anybody else? Who's ever lost their job before? I have some money. How can I flip it? All right, good stuff. Resources beyond unemployment. Good stuff. So resources beyond you, but beyond employment, resources for unemployment, all resources, Deanna. Any kind of resources. Let's be the Texas workforce. A work source. Which one is it, Reggie? Is it workforce or work source? Work source. Okay, source. You said source. All right. Well, I guess workforce. I kind of sound like jump out boys. All right. Work, work source. Resources to assist with funding to start a business. Write that down. Resources to assist with funding to start a business. 
somebody just put that resources care pritchett said thank you for being on care care pritchett said resources of beyond our deployment so none of these things i would have thought about so good stuff what was the other one you said about resources uh, it, uh, it's not in chat uh, okay thank you it, it was sent to my private chat i copy and paste it out there Boom. It was resources to assist with funding to start a business. Thank you. Probably. What can I do with little investment and get the return for a living? Which makes me get my cash back up. That's, that's other words, how to take what, how to create cash flow. That's what that means. But how to create cash flow from what I have, the little that I do have. How to create cash flow? What do I do have? Oh Lord, Kara just dropped the mic on this one. Maintain insanity under pressure. Should have been an organ right after that. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> Maintain insanity under pressure. Yes, yes. You know what? Dealing with suicidal thoughts. Might as well put that in there. And overcoming low self-esteem should be part of it. That's for sure. Just put that a part of it. Deal with suicidal thoughts. Now, I'm going to say this. How can I invest without losing my money? <laughs> There's no possible way on planet Earth to do that. <laughs> but that's a catchy title. So go ahead and put it. And the first thing I'll say is, there's no possible way on planet Earth to do that. But here are how you can de-risk your, your opportunity to lose money. You cannot invest anything, y'all, without losing money. That's just not the way it works. It's just not the way it works. If you're going to invest, like invest. If you're going to give first, you must lose. That's the way it works. Now, you can't even give the ground an orange without losing that orange first. Limit my losses. Whew. May have been better. Nice. No, no, no. Keep both of those. Keep both of those. Limit my losses. Keep both of those. All right. I'm going to come from a man standpoint. I need, if you are a man, if you can cut your camera on. Uh, th thank you, Michael, for being here again. I appreciate your email yesterday as well, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. The, if you're a man, cut the camera on or just be vocal in chat for me because no offense to my women, we have different problems. Different problems, okay? Us men, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start it off because this is the stuff that we worry about that 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 the world just doesn't get. The uh, churches or religious centers don't have plans for it. It's why we don't. It's why there's more women in church than men. Because church is kind of designed for women, not men. That's not a diss to anyone. It's, it's, it's just the truth. It's not, it's not a diss to anyone. It's just saying that men, and I'm going to start off, we, if I just lost my job, I just lost everything. I just lost my marriage. I just lost my relationship. My kids don't look at me correctly. If I'm not in a stable relationship, I'm getting reminded how I, how bad I am. Not, and I'm not bashing women. I'm not bashing the world. I'm saying society has put it like this. If you're a woman, good job. You were born. You're God to give the earth. If you're a man, what are you doing for the earth if you want me to compliment you? This is how it works for us. This is, this is how it works for us. You're, we are only, only when we have given everything, do we get something, some sort of compliment. You know, that's when we are a man, when we've lost everything. When we've worked 16 hours, that's a good man. So we have a whole different list of problems. Those six points, every six points of those people, of the 6.6 .6 million, if they're men, they're suffering differently. So men, I would like for you to help here. First thing that I would want to know is how do I feel 
like a man during this time. It's the first thing I want to know. It's the first thing. The second thing I would want to know. Without the risk of being too transparent, the second thing I want to know is what are alternative ways that I can provide for my family without money? Because I'll go out there and stab a rabbit if I have to. Sorry, the rabbits. Just saying. Do I need to? Can, can you teach me how to plant a garden? Something. I need something that takes no money, and I still need to feed my family. Which, which many of you can relate to what I'm talking about right now? Right. This is this is how we're thinking. Reggie, give me some man some man point of view stuff on this. And you can also throw in your your any other ideas you had because I'm coming to you next. Uh, do you want what me to come from? With? Do you want me to come from this business angle, or can I just tell? Yeah, the I need truth? you to be tell the truth. I just, I need, I need, I just want to tell the truth. But I don't want to come in no business angle because I'm not even trying to come out of business angle. First, first and foremost, one we was born with gifts. So mm-hmm. as a man, please identify your gifts. Yeah. Something that you do naturally that people see and told you, hey, thank you for it, number one. Number two, uh, in a particular book, I read that it's a time for everything. So if it's a time to not have a job and you know it's a time for everything, you have to prepare mentally and spiritually for that, which means don't go into shock like you just took an ice bath because you lost your job. Because I guarantee if you lived on this earth like I have, you've lost a job before. And you know what you had to do when you lost a job before. Now, it's a little different now because you have a stay home order. Uh, You got to give something to get something. So uh, part of your first question was, I was thinking infomercials you know, when people on TV, when, you know, just people that's up thinking, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. them people come on TV when the people up thinking. And uh, you said something, nonprofit organization. Mm-hmm. With your gift, you can start a nonprofit organization. If your gift is helping somebody else, then they're going to give you something. See, you don't necessarily need money because if you are right. rendering a gift, to somebody, somebody will give you something that you need because you've been praying for it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Money doesn't, y'all think you need money. You need, what were you going to do with the money? You're going to buy a resource with it. So if I give. You can't go nowhere. And, and you, you, you're no online. They, yeah. Exactly. And that's a good point. You, you got to wait for it if it's online. That's a good point you brought up. I'm a woman. I'm a man. I'm stuck in home, so I can't even go get the job. Forget they not hiring. Yeah. I'm quarantined. I need to to take this couch and somehow flip it for some money. I don't know. <laughs> what what do I need to do? You understand? And I, I would say, Deanna, make sure you put down in a garden, like real talk. I need... When Kiara brought up resources, a big chunk of those resources should be how to plant a potato in your garden in 90 to 20 days. Actually, that's not a potato. It's going to grow a little slower than that. But, you know, how do I come back in 120 days with food from my backyard? Oh, I live in an apartment. No problem. You got your PlayStation box? Sure do. Cut the top half of that box off with a box cut a butter knife or something. Put some soil in that box. Start planting seeds. Did y'all see what I just did? I can't I can't dig a hole. My landlord tripping. That ain't got nothing to do with you putting in a PlayStation or Xbox box. Milk crate. Yep. You 
keep ordering from Amazon, we'll get one of them boxes. Get that crock pot. We ain't using it in a long time anyway. Or this, look, this, Reggie, this me and your kind of talk right here. This me and Reggie talk. Me and Reggie. We, we, we're from the hood. This me and your, me and your kind of talk. Go, go get some crab bowl. You understand? Like, you should have cooked some crawfish. I might not know about that if y'all not down here in the South. Get some crab bowl. What, what is it? What's the, what's the, what's one of the popular brands? O, Olay? O, o, I forget what it's called. Anyway, get some crab bowl. And just in case the power go out or you run it out, you just throw everything in there, in that roof. So now you got a meal for five, six days. Boiled it. Why is that important? Because if your power go out, or if your lights get cut off, you can put some wood in the backyard, start a fire, put that pot on, and boil that. That's pofo stuff. Pofo stuff. So we need some kind of resource. You got that, Deanna? Not just how to go get a job, but then have this whole section of how to plant a potato, how to plant this. And, and I ain't, we ain't going to make it up. We, just, we can just take clips off YouTube, but we'll just compile them for the people so they don't have to do it themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Good stuff. Got some stuff in the chat. Oh, Kara said this is going to be good. Mike said one of the best things to do at this time is not to – bend over but to keep your head up and flexible facts chris holmes let me hear from you brother hold on had to wait i cut my jams off real quick i'm over here jamming in good mood Can that's you hear all me? right that's all right yeah keep your mood right. up good man i saw you said something about king in the comment all right so i'm gonna speak from my wisdom point of view <laughs> pulling that out deep so so gotcha. uh, especially in this time of period mindset uh, mind over matter is definitely everything uh, because the moment that you start destroying yourself in your mind, you're going to be completely out the game. So this is the time where you use innovation, imagination, and take advantage of your resources that you have around you. You may not have the resources that you want to, like, like all the other resources, but you have resources around you you can use right now. So this is where you use imagination, creativity, of the people around you, uh, creating cash flow and things like that. And of course, during this time, it's like I'm, I'm not in a situation of like losing like marriage and things like that. But you got to tell yourself multiple times over and over again that I am great. I'm a great husband, a great father and things like that multiple times because there may be even people inside of your own house or people around you that may be telling you the complete opposite. Now, I'm saying this, I know that I'm not in the experience, but I do listen and watch other people's actions. And I've seen multiple times where I've seen men pretty much crumble because they're in their mind, they lose uh, the value of themselves and what their worth is because they allow outside thoughts and opinions of who they are destroy them. So this is definitely a time where you have to remind yourself every day that you are strong. You can't overcome this multiple times throughout the days, months, and however long this is because who knows how long it's going to last. But you can be, but you need to be your own biggest fan at the end of the day. I can dig that for sure. Uh, let's see. Let's put mm -hmm. recharging your confidence. Put that down. I'm trying to translate everything you said. You know, I'm here. I got the right mindset. I just need you to give me a little shot or something. I have a whole section for that. Outstanding. Grace, your mission. I need you to take everything that's just been written down. A lot of this is just research. Don't necessarily have to do this ourselves. Okay? Some of it I will have to do. I want you, by the end of the day, to compile me a document. You got to put it in sections, okay? And the links need to be there. Don't worry about making it pretty. I'll try to make it pretty. I'll have Deanna do that. She's too, she's too, she's got too much on her plate to do this, and I don't have that much on your plate. So I need you to compile this list, set it off just like a teacher would. Each section is a class. The plant, you know, how to plant garden stuff, just don't, now don't, I'm, you're doing this, but I'm not having you do this by yourself. If something falls into Reggie's gifts, call Reggie and say, hey, 
I'm online. What can I, you know, what kind of stuff is, you know, Reggie can get internet for $10. I don't even know how you pull that off. I'm still confused on that one. Obviously, you ask me, so if I got a green thumb about what stuff would be for planting, which, which, which foods would, would you want to use? And then how even to preserve your, <laughs> how to even preserve your, your meats. You can use, you can use Crisco, rub it over eggs, Crisco rub it meat. But anyway, it's, it's any kind of stuff like that. You can use Crisco. As a matter of fact, let me tell you what I did yesterday. I cooked some poison. By poison, I mean processed meat. I did. I cooked some poison. And I saved the grease. Literally. This one, I took a, I went to Kentucky a couple of years ago and I bought some moonshine. And the moonshine came in a mason jar. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say mason jar? Is that is that an international thing? The jar that's glass, twist off the top. You know, put jam and preservatives in it, you know, if you, if you got a great grandmother. Okay, I just want to make sure it's international. I know it's Southern. I know for sure that's Southern because I'm so Southern. Right? I don't know that. <laughs> I want to make sure it's international. And I just kept the jar because it was cool. I just wanted to keep it. I mean, it's the first time I drank moonshine. Why would I not keep the jar? And this is what I did. I poured all that grease in this, and it, I filled up this mason jar this big with nothing but grease. Y'all ready? Then I went to the mop, cut off one of the mop strings, and as the grease started cooling down, I sat it in that grease, just made a candle. Y'all ain't heard me. You couldn't hear me. Those are deep roots I learned from my grandma in Arkansas. <laughs> Man, I made a grease. I mean, I made a candle out of poison, poison grease. All right? You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I just want you to know that. So good stuff. Any, any kind of tip like that we could put in there, you know, we're not saying that the world's going to go crazy. Just saying to give people the ability to stay at home and find out they got so many resources, and that'd be great. Also, add for me, Deanna, remember that, that class I did years ago, how to make $25,000 on eBay from your closet? That needs to be in there because Reggie's right. If they got to stay at home, they may not realize they're sitting on $25,000 worth of old clothes they can sell on eBay. And going to the post office is a bit essential so you can get out for that. Good stuff. All right, that ends that section. Let me go now to, did that help anybody? That's not my business. You understand? That's not my business. So I said, how, how can you benefit short-term, long-term? We'll just run right over that because it doesn't really matter. What I want to do is, though, we'll put it part of the gifting so we get everybody's name, number, email, and that way we'll be able to call them and see if they need more stuff. Okay? And then you, the more you call, the more you figure out what people are missing. And then we can make that better. And that's going to be completely free, a free resource that we'll have. Thank you, Kiara, for that idea. That has nothing to do with my business. But how you treat people during this time will define if you're open two years from now. I think that's worth repeating. How you treat people during this time will define if you're open two years from now. Y'all understand? Please take that very seriously because brands are being judged more than ever in the last 14 days. You hear me? There's billionaires losing fans. Yep. Billionaires losing fans. Millionaires losing fans. Brands are being ruined and then some brands are being absolutely catapulted. Elon Musk just gave a bunch of ventilators and then the guy who invented the Dyson vacuum just gave a bunch of, you know, he just invented his, that's what he does, right? So good stuff. Top paid apps. Let's move on to the next section. This is pro probably the most profitable section 
that I am going to discuss. I hope you all get this. Let me just show this one more time. This needs to be seen 50 million times. This is the state of our union. If this is happening in America, what do you think is happening in Botswana? You understand? What do you think is happening in India, number three economy in the world? As a matter of fact, uh, so teach where you at. You're in India. Yes, Bangalore. Bangalore. So you're you're in. But see, that's it. it was, before I get to that, before I get to that, tell them what Bangalore is. It's a southern part of India. And it's the San Francisco of yes. India, the Bay Area, Silicon Valley. Right. Pretty much. All right. Well, not pretty much. Exactly much. Now, Satish, how is it out there? People losing jobs, gaining jobs? How is it? So nobody is getting jobs, but there is a fear that many jobs will be cut. And also, uh, in, in, in the state where I live in, we have IT Employee Association, and they are trying to negotiate with the government to influence all the IT companies not to cut jobs, instead make it as 50% pay package. If somebody is making $100,000, they will start getting $50,000 instead of losing the job. So that is what is being negotiated. I am not sure how far this will go. Yeah, it's not going to go too far, that's for sure. Some people will do it. The reason it won't go too far, it has nothing to do with India, has nothing to do with a region, a continent, has everything to do with our level of consciousness. I'm not about to lose my social status and become a regular person to help out people who should have got here where I got here. I'm not telling you that's right. I'm just telling you that's what's going to be said. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to be said. IT jobs are not safe. They wouldn't safe and they're never safe in a in any downturn. They are safe in upturns. There's no IT job that's safe. Why are IT jobs not safe? It's very simple because they are support jobs, aren't they? All IT jobs are designed, most IT jobs are designed to support a profitable company. And what's going to happen when the companies are no longer profitable? Yeah. Majority yeah. support jobs, yes. Majority of support jobs. Exactly. So prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Good thing is ATS is here to help. Right. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, all right. That's <laughs> so that's good stuff. Just want to show that again. Now I'm going to show something different this time. You know what? Let me hold on. Let me come back. Who wants to make who who wants to make a lot of money right now? I'm talking to everybody now, not just my staff. Who wants to make a lot of money right now and don't know where to start? Or okay, hands are already going up. Can I bless y'all for a second? I'm just bless you. I'm just going to, everybody said me. If you don't know where to start, this is, I don't want to say too easy, but let me make it easy for you. Here we go. Let me, oh, the Zoom menu wouldn't let me see my tabs. I want you all to start being smarter about attention. First off, I need to talk to everybody, young and old. All of you need to know something very simple. Stop complaining about young folk on a phone because you're complaining on your phone about young folk on a phone. If you post that, you understand? 
stop also complaining about old folk that don't get it because it doesn't matter. Because all of us, let me stop sharing my screen, are now run by this. Everyone look at it. It's called a cell phone, a mobile device. I've got six of them. I literally have six cell phones. That is ridiculous. You understand? That's how crazy the world is. And every last one of you have more than one of these, even in economic situations. You're going to lose your house with a phone. Do you understand? That's deep. It's to the point now in which you'd rather lose your wallet than lose your phone. That's crazy, but that's the world we live in, and it's not crazy because it's normal now. So can you share your screen? Oh, no, I'm going to share it again. So what I want you to do is, my staff, I'm coming to you. These are the top apps worldwide in January. Top downloaded apps in January. Most of these you ain't never heard. You should take a screenshot because I'm about to give you some instructions. Actually, I'm about to give my team some instructions, and you might want to steal this, what I'm about to tell them. Keep in mind, these are non-game apps. This, okay, 60 days ago, this is where all the attention is. How many of you heard of this app before? Like, this is overall... This is overall downloads, regardless of platform. This is Apple. This is Google. Pay attention. The next time I tell y'all to go get on TikTok and you tell me that's where young folk at, then you probably should just stop that. You understand? Because TikTok is the number one downloaded app, period. It's where all the attention is. And you have a moral obligation to go to where the attention is so you can go get money. If you're saying, I have a construction business, I don't, this doesn't apply to me. I have a nonprofit and this doesn't apply to me. Where do you think you should be constructioning and nonprofiting on these apps? Sandals, you first. I'm your mic. This is where y'all steal from me. I want you to just look at the overall download section real quick, one through ten. Right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to making money, be transparent. How many apps have you posted on to make money? Used. Mm-hmm. Don't I, let me take no name. I'm not gonna say posted on used and in fact let me let me change it up again not to make money and actually produced income facts how many of these apps four all right so you're shooting at a good 40 percent that's fantastic if I ask everybody else, they're probably going to tell me one or two. Name the four. WhatsApp. Oh, Why? Five. I said again, I'm sorry, WhatsApp? What was that? Why WhatsApp? For people who are not in the United States, I contact and call in other countries. Exactly. Keep going. Facebook. Yep. Instagram. Yep. Messenger. Yep. YouTube. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. If you didn't work with me, how many of those apps would you think you'd be making money with? One. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Look at these apps. No, no, Sandy, you ain't done. Nope. Look at these apps. Now tell me what you're gonna tell me how you're gonna repackage whatever you're doing, Grace, for TikTok. Mm-hmm. Tell me how you that's great. You gotta tell me now. Because you don't have a plan right now, right? Right. How are you gonna repackage what you're doing for WhatsApp? It needs to be repackaged. Would you like to know what I do? Please. All right. What I do is I have a phone and equally just as many people who text message me, WhatsApp me. And if you look here, all these people are all contacts in WhatsApp. And I figured out real quickly, you know, a lot of people don't even tell me their name. They just text. Hmm. I can use that to my advantage then. I don't need to save it in my phone. I'll just save the text message thread. And whenever I'm giving something away, guess what you think I go do, Grace? I go right to that thread and say, hey, and I go, and this is what I do, y'all. I go right to that thread and I go look at it and I go reread the messages and I reread what we talked about and I say, hey, I remember we talked about this. I want to give you this or this may apply for you here. And they go, thank you, sir. And go get up on it and email start going on. I'm not just using WhatsApp to communicate. I'm using WhatsApp to get attention. And I'm using WhatsApp to sell. Let's share the screen again. By the end of the day, take a screenshot, Reggie, Deanna, Grace. Get all three of these. You need to be have a formulated plan. It doesn't need to be complete. I don't expect you to have it complete. Of how you're going to take advantage with two brands, the ATS brand and your brand. Reggie, you got something great coming up soon. Let me see where I can get to. There you go. And your greatness should be posted on these apps. A passport to manhood should somehow, right, that's for your brand. And plus, don't judge a book by its cover, all this stuff. Do this here. Everybody, as simple as I could possibly tell it to you. Oh, hold on. Let me not wrap that up to shit. Share my screen one more time. Top 10, 10 most downloaded apps of 2010. So I went, I wanted to go see of the whole decade. Whole decade. Which apps are sustaining? And of course, Facebook was number one. But watch this here, y'all. Please pay attention to this. These first four apps are Facebook. The first four apps are Facebook. And then the app, y'all say is confusing, Snapchat. five Skype and I hate Skype but I still use it TikTok just came out you see browser YouTube Twitter 19 I'll do you a favor I'll share this in chat you can keep this for yourself there's two points here I want to make I want my team to develop a plan for me. It's a structural plan, just the beginning of the plan, not the full plan for the ATS brand and your brands for these apps, the ATS brand and your brand for these apps. Okay. You probably want to download them to check them out. Yep. You have to do that. Anybody listening to me, Antonio, man, how you keep growing so fast? I'm going to tell you my secret. Every month, I go check 
of which apps is being downloaded the most, and I go over there and dominate. Rewind, press play. Every month, I am going to go check which apps are being downloaded the most. Because I understand my customers' attention over there. And I go over there and bring those customers back to whatever I'm doing. Yep. I suggest all of you build your business around the same thing. I don't care which apps are trending. I don't care. The internet can go out tomorrow. I'm still going to adjust because I'm not dedicated to anything but my customer's attention. The only thing I'm dedicated is to my customer's attention. Let me break it down even further than that. Diana, Reggie, Grace, Satish, Phil, Susan, Facebook is going to become a trillion dollar company. You mark my words. And there's nothing but apps on your phone. Pay attention. Microsoft trillion dollar company. It's not just apps. They got stuff like Xbox. Apple, they got stuff. Hardware. Yep. 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 Amazon, they got plenty of stuff. They come at your door. Trillion dollar companies. Facebook don't have no hardware. Unless you want to call, call Oculus. Facebook, it's just a guy with apps. Trillion dollar company. Apps. We have entered into the future. The future. The reason why people in Bangalore or Silicon Valley are going to suffer is because apps are not just support. They're profitable. If your business is tied into supporting another business in an economic downturn, you're going to suffer. Apps are just tied directly to the consumer. Yep. It's why, Satish, I told y'all so hard why I wanted that software to behave that way. Notice none of that software had anything to do with support. It was direct to the consumer for the very reason I'm telling you. Last thing you should understand, I need my team. You're going to figure out, here's your assignment. It's difficult. It's hard. You're going to figure out how you're going to outpost me on all these apps. That's your job. I'm currently posting. Let's see. Gary V is posting about a hundred times a day across. He says that's too low. I'm posting about fifty times a day across all platforms. That's way too low. Way too low. Actually, I'm way above 50 times. Let's take me at 75 times a day. 75 times a day. And you got to find out how you're going to outpost me. Each last one of you got to figure out how you're going to outpost me on all these platforms. I gave you the blueprint here. I gave it to you. I showed you the pictures. Showed you the links. Showed you what I do. You came up with new ideas of how to help. And you're now going to outpost me. Posting once a day, 
it's not good enough. Let's close with this. Right now, the whole world, as, as a matter of fact, let me show you something. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show it with facts. I want to take you to my current podcast ranking. My current podcast ranking. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you how crazy this is getting out here. This was just yesterday. It hasn't updated. It's going to update again at 3 o'clock today. I want you to pay attention to this. This is crazy. I posted. Well, let, me, let me explain this here. Michael, this is rankings from yesterday, but they reflect the day before. So this is 20. I'm looking at 24 hours ago rankings from 48 hours ago work. I'm making sense, everybody. I'm looking at 24 hour rankings from 48 hours ago work. Everybody understand that? I'm gonna make repeat back to me what am I communicating, Diana? In your words. Say it for me one more time. I'm gonna show you the results from 24 hours ago, but it was from the work that was done 48 hours ago. Your the results from the the results that you did two days ago, you're going to show the results of those. Okay. Oh, you almost said the work I did two days ago, you're going to see the results today. Yes. Simpler way to say that. There you go. <clears throat> All right. The works I did two days ago, you're going to see the works, I mean, the results from it today. At 3 o'clock, what you'll see is something different. All right? At 3 o'clock, you'll see something different. Got me? Three o'clock, you'll see something different. Hold on real quick. That's like insanely blue. All right, at three o'clock, you're gonna see something different. Everybody got that? 48 hours ago, I posted one podcast, Michael. That's why I stressed that. Posted one podcast. You know what I didn't see coming, Satish? I forgot something. I forgot the whole freaking world was at home consuming podcasts at a rate that's never been consumed before. This isn't regular. I'm accustomed to ranking number eight. I want to show you this. Since I posted once, I want to show you what happened. I went from, now I'm number seven all time in America. Number seven. All, can y'all see that? I'm number seven all time in America. But since I posted once, I jumped down to 143 to 99. What's my point here? If you not six times, if I'm not posting five podcasts a day, I'm getting ate up by all this attention. That's just numbers. Would you like to see it again? Because that's not me making this up. If you have a podcast and you didn't post five episodes, yesterday I posted five episodes because I looked at this. Today I'm posting another five episodes. You understand? Why? Because everybody locked out and they're learning. And they went to mine. They like you binge watch on Netflix, they binge listen on podcasts. They went to mine, listened, and said, Man, I need more. And they left and went to somebody else. Because I didn't have enough new episodes. Pay attention. I did my job. Yeah but my job didn't match the amount of attention of trying to get out their situation. So they left me and went to someone else like me. 
because I didn't take advantage of the meanness that I have. I ain't making that mistake. Most of you listen to my podcast. I ain't making that mistake again. I ain't going down like that. This just proves that whatever you thought you were doing, you need to do, borrow from Grant Cardone, no, I ain't 10 times. A hundred times more people that are at home doing it. They're consuming the internet to get out of their situations or to escape their boredom. And they ran across your material. And my question to you as we end is how many people went to your page and got off because you didn't keep their attention long enough? or you just had a three-minute video. That's why y'all doing this assignment, Ziana and team. That's why. That's why. Your assignment, clearly and concisely, is you're going to look at those apps. You understand? That podcast about women running the world, oh, yeah, that's going to get released ASAP. We're not sitting on that. Now is the time. Do you understand? Now is the time. Now is the absolute time. You are not sitting on this. You get this done. We got those apps, and we need to be posting 10 times a piece on those apps. That's outside of what I do. Why? Because we're hungry? No because of so much attention. Now, we can't keep up with it. No one can. The only thing you can do, the only thing you can do is make sure that when they go to go learn from somebody or whatever your product is, they don't run past you because your series isn't long enough to keep their attention. What show do you binge watch on Netflix? One with five seasons, 108 episodes, or one with one season, six episodes? That's what's happening right now. What's happening right now is people are going to the internet. I'm not right. My customers are right. I am studying my customers' attention. And all my customers are looking for longer content that they can listen to all day to fix their situations. And if you're not posting enough, they're going to look at your page and say, this person isn't worthy of my time during this crisis. Am I making myself clear, Satish? People are passing y'all up because they looked at your page and said, yo, she's cute, he's cute, this, that, but they don't have enough of what I need. And I'll be damned if that happened to me. Then you should have the same spirit about you. That's your assignment, Grace, Diana, Reggie. Make it work. Make it work. I gave you the apps. I gave you the blueprint. Everybody else saw. You get to steal. I'm telling you, design your company around the attention of what's going on and then where they are. I just gave you your congregations. You know where they are now. You don't have to go look for the congregation. If you follow my teachings, you know, you find your congregation. You don't have to go look. I gave you the congregations of the past decade and the past 60 days, you know where they are. Then I gave you the plan. Now, action. And if you don't do it, I'm going to bust me a Gary V, and I'm going to run this video side by side of me saying, I told you so. Now is the time. I need those reports by five o'clock today, I'm okay with just a skeleton report because we're going to build up on it. 
Fair enough. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't play better. You can't dominate. Thank you, everybody. Love you more, Phil. See y'all at 11 for the marketing training. All right, everybody.